Happy New Year and welcome to 2021. Here in New Zealand, we are the first in the world to see in the new year as usual. And well, it's raining right now. Now, I thought I would put this out there. I've got some quite clear goals for 2021. Everybody makes New Year's resolutions and it's always the usual nonsense, but I've got some quite specific ones and I'm going to stick them here so that I can come back to them at the end of the year to see how well I did. So here are my eight New Year's goals. This is a really simple one, but it's important to me. Being able to walk on my own two feet, well, not quite my own, without any walking aids. Now, I have been using crutches for over 18 months and I have been in pain for several years. So I am looking forward to the day that I can walk without any any physical aids whatsoever. That it will be a very important milestone day for me. And I'm determined to make that 2021 and sometime in the early start of 2021. Ride my bike. Now my bike is currently attached to a trainer in the garage and it's a smart trainer that I got just about the time where I couldn't actually ride my bike anymore so it's not really been used. It's parked in the garage and every time I go into the garage to get my car out I look at it and go <laughs> Now, I have done the one-legged cycling thing and I did that for a wee while whilst I was waiting to be allowed to swim. But I have stopped doing that because I'm really concerned about overstressing the knee replacement, especially today. My kneecap is really sore and uh, we don't want a sore knee because uh, a knee, the day they have to do the knee replacement again, oh my God. So we're, um, we're not we're just not going to talk about that. So what I'm hoping in 2021 is that I can get back out on my bike on the road again. Now, I was originally told this wouldn't be possible. Um, there's a lot of factors at play here. One of them is a funding issue because the public health system will only fund me for a leg to get me from here to there. If I want to do anything more fancy than that tough, I have to pay for it myself. Um, the second one is a biomechanical issue. So it's the question of whether I am able to rotate the pedal wearing the leg that I have been given to walk from here to there, or whether I have to modify either the socket or the bike. Either way, it's all a bit of a mechanical puzzle. So I would love to be able to, first of all, rotate the pedals and ride the bike back on Zwift again in the garage. But ultimately, I would love to be able to ride my bike out on the road. Now, there's an important thing I'm going to have to change when I finally get to that. And that is I'm going to have to get on and off the other side, because if I'm using clip pedals, the foot that is not my foot is going to have to stay clipped into the pedal because I'm not going to be able to ride a bike without a clip pedal because I don't know where the foot is and I can't feel if it's slipped off and all that sort of thing. So it is makes more sense for me to take the other foot out when I'm stepping down. And I've always got off that side because that's the side where there's no chain. Now I'm going to have to get off this side, which is the chain side um, and the into the road side so that I can leave the prosthetic foot clipped to the pedal. So, hmm, anyway, I'm hoping to be able to do that at some point in 2021. Tramping or hiking for you Europeans. This is something that I continued to do when I was no longer able to run. And after the knee replacement, I just started getting back to that when I started having trouble with the foot and I had to stop walking. Um, tramping and I've got a, a little route that is quite short but steep that I used to love yomping up as fast as I could walk because it was hard work and short and gave me the same sort of out of breathness that running did but without having to run. Now I would love to be able to walk off road again. Now I don't know how that's going to be because uh, you, you need ankle stability for uneven ground. So I'm not sure how, what happens there with the prosthetic. That's something I'm going to have to investigate. But I will be able to, at some point, be off-road off walking. I would love it to be 2021. Consistent exercise. Well, it's been eight years, maybe longer, since the last time I could consistently exercise for any length of time. Reason is, is because of the knee injury, which 
was several years of pain before I actually had the knee replacement and then shortly after that the left leg. So I've not consistently trained um, in any one sport since probably 2012. Now it, I would love 2021, nine years after the, I had to stop racing triathlon, I would love 2021 to be the year that I can start doing some type of consistent exercise again, whatever that looks like, consistent is the key. Back to work. Now, whoever would thought be, had goal, a New Year's goal would be getting back to work. Now, when you haven't been able to work full time for about eight or nine months, let me say May, June. Yeah, eight, eight months. We're coming into the ninth um, month that I've not been able to work full time. So by the end of 2021, I would love to be, be back to full speed and able to work again full time because my business needs me quite honestly. This is something that a lot of people have spoken to me about and the hospital manager has actually caught up with me more than once and asked me about this and that is the book. Now I've got so many people giving me so many positive comments about the videos that I make um, that I really do think I probably need to start writing that book. How do you write a book? I have no idea. I'm going to have to do some research and make a plan because I need to sort out what type of book it's going to be, what sort of angle I'm going to go for, is it going to be a biography, is it going to be serious or funny or whatever, is it going to be an educational book, I don't know. I'm going to have to give that some thought but I commit to the fact that I'm going to start that book in 2021 somehow. Now this is a big goal and I'm tentatively putting this into my top eight. I'm not sure if it's going to be possible and it won't be because of me that it's not possible. It'll be biomechanical, it'll be um, prosthetic leg related and all that sort of thing and depends how the everything pans out in the future. But I would love to be able to at least say I have entered a multi-sport race again by the end of 2021. The race doesn't need to be in 2021, the race can be in 2022. But I'd love to be able to say that I have entered a multi-sport race as an individual before the end of the year. This doesn't often get made into a goal, but more people should. I commit to being happy in 2021. Now, why would I say that? Because I've spent several years in chronic pain being anything but happy. So I am going to make sure that by, uh, during 2021, I focus on what is actually happening right now, all the positives that are happening, all the gains that I'm making, and the reasons why it's great to be alive. So, what are your goals for this year? I would love to hear them. They don't need to be complex. They don't need to be grand. The simpler, the better. And if you're still focusing on them by April, Easterish this year, you're doing better than 95% of the people in the world who set a goal for the new year and then just abandon the whole thing and it doesn't ever happen. You know, like all those people that go to the gym, uh, I'm gonna get fit and all them sorts of people. Yeah, forget those goals. What I wanna hear is your real goals for 2021. Give me a comment and let me know.